in this fourth unit, we're looking at bacteriology and spoilage. Bacteriology is the study of small living things. These living things are generally too small to be seen without the use of a microscope. They are known as microorganisms or microbes. They are found in the soil, in water and in the air. The human body is also home to millions of microbes. Some microbes make us ill and some are important to the health of our bodies. Many diseases of animals, including humans and plants, are caused by bacteria, viruses and fungi. Some bacteria are used by pharmaceutical companies to produce important medicine, for example, antibiotics. The harmful bacteria that attacks our bodies and cause food poisoning are known as pathogens. However, infection with a pathogen does not necessarily lead to disease. It is important to note that not all bacteria are harmful. Certain bacteria are important and are used in food production to make food like cheese and yoghurt. Yeasts and fungi are important to the production of food and drink, for example, wine, beer and bread. Disease materialises when the cells in your body are damaged as a result of infection and signs and symptoms of an illness start to show. Spoilage bacteria are the microorganisms that cause food to break down and deteriorate. Binary fission. Binary fission is where bacteria is able to divide in two every 10 to 20 minutes. In order to do this, a cell must first grow to twice its size before splitting in two. One singular form of bacteria may become over a million in just three and a half hours. Spores. Spores are also microscopic and you would require a microscope to see them. The majority of spores are a single cell that is protected by a hardy cell wall that helps it to prevent the bacteria from being broken down. You will recall that in order for bacteria to multiply, it requires warmth, moisture, food and time. Serving food immediately after cooking or storing food correctly will help to minimise the risk of spores occurring. If a spore has survived the cooking process, it may be able to multiply again as the food cools down. Spores can usually be eliminated with the use of high temperatures and pressure. Therefore, some foods will require cooking at extremely high temperatures to destroy the toxin-producing bacteria. However, not all bacteria can be destroyed Therefore, we must ensure that we are able to reduce them to an acceptable safe level and extra care is taken with food, even after cooking. Spores are resistant to heat and freezing, which means there is no guarantee that food is safe when brought to room temperature or when cooked. It is important to remember that although cooking may kill all microbes in food, they wouldn't have got rid of any toxins they have already produced. Spoilage. Food that is unfit for human consumption is regarded as food spoilage. It is identified by having an unusual taste, sour smells, mould, bulging cans, leaking packages, discoloration, stickiness or slime, production of gas and strange textures.